it's your birthday, dieting on your birthday, how are you going to handle that? What are you going to do for your birthday? Well, <clears throat> I th you know, everyone's going to be, oh, is Lincoln taking you out for dinner? I mean, oh my God, get off with someone on the Lighter Life diet because what a cheap date they are <laughs> for you. That's what I recommend to all you laddos out there. Um, I think we're just, I, I've actually got to work on my birthday. Um, I'm not doing, I'm not doing loose women, but I've got a, a, a chat show to do, not a chat show, a um, game show to do, which I'm doing for one, for one of my charities. Um, it's also the anniversary of, of my mum dying. So it'll be quite a poignant day, but I sort of take solace in the fact that I lost her on my birthday because I feel that, you know, May the 22nd, 1958, she brought me into the world and May the 22nd, 2012, she left the world with me, you know, holding her hand. So I, I find that a great comfort. Um, and the thing is, you know, my mum would be right behind me on this. She would absolutely, you know, she'd be very, if my mum could see that I've taken the madness out of, of, of my life and that I was addressing what could have become another problem, she would be very, very proud of me. So um, she'll definitely be looking, looking down on me as well. I tuck into my soup tomorrow night, I think. Yeah, we'll probably just have a, we'll probably just have a quiet one. You know, as I say, you know, Lincoln and I are quite, because we're not boozers, we're not out as much as we were anyway, really. Um, and because I'm going to be, I'm going to be in London, we'll probably just go back in and watch our crime documentaries that we like to watch. So that's a crazy night in for us. It's funny how focus can change, isn't it? Because about a couple of years ago, you'd have been out clubbing and drinking and all that I goes with that. I would have been out sad 55-year-old swinging round a lap dancing pole <laughs> in some gay nightclub in London. And I think that they all miss me doing that sometimes, but you know, as I say, my, my mood is my mood is great, so there's nothing to say that I couldn't still do that. I um, the f the first week when I kept thinking, oh, oh, we could maybe go for. I sort of missed that, mm -hmm. you know, you 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 miss that thing of of being able to go and look at a menu and order a nice steak and order this. Of course you do. It's human nature, but you know it's not forever. It gave me such a buzz to get into these jeans. I can't tell you. I could get into them, but it was, you know, all bulging out all of there. And just to put them on the other day after £10 was fantastic. It's the lying on the bed and doing them up and then finding you can't get off the bed. Absolutely. And, and the other thing is because I put weight, you know, and I'm, I'm 55 now, I, I put weight on my face very easily as well. Um, it's, I like to have a little bit on because we know as we get older if you're too thin in the face. But it's just little things like catching a glimpse of myself in a mirror, catching a glimpse of myself on the monitor at work, and not, the, the, the uh, is not quite as uh as it was before I went on Lighter Life, mm. which is a result. It's amazing, isn't it, that that has changed so quickly. Mm. So quickly. Well, I, you know, four pounds off a stone, that's quite a lot. Um, and I, I just, I, I just, I've not been for my wedding dress fitting yet. I have a one, uh, well, everybody's much more worried about than me. I have a wonderful designer, Sharon. She will make sure that I look amazing in my dress. So we're not gonna do it for another couple of weeks till I've lost a few more, a few more pounds. And then we'll get, and then if I lose a few more, she can always just, you know. Which would you rather have? A food pack or a piece of cheesecake? Oh, now come on, <laughs> a food pack or a piece of cheesecake? Can I not have a cheesecake food pack? <laughs>